Can you do that for us? All right, cool. Repo we'll let him do truck. the auto loader. Repo so a lot of companies are going to these auto loaders that they do uh, private property tows or repossessions or things like that. Auto loaders are the way to go. Learn safer because you've worked it from inside the cab without having to get out of the truck, put yourself yeah. into that dangerous that's, spot. That's, that's for, for me, that's the bad thing about them, though, because guys get lazy and they do everything from inside the cab. Yep. Yeah, the camera, yeah. yeah. If you have a camera, you can see. Yeah, but if you don't have a camera, you can't see, so you're kind of guessing that it's in the right position. Yeah, we got one of those trucks. That's the first thing we kind of went for is we put a camera on the back of it. Yeah, if you've got a camera and you can see, that's fine. Doing everything from inside is fine. I had a part-time job at a... Speaking of camera, is that a camera? It, it is, is a camera. camera. Damn. There's the boss. I don't care. Get out and check. Mm -hmm. I can sit in the truck, move the little thing. Yeah. I can pick up a trailer, just back up. Yeah. I don't give a care. Check. Yeah, I personally, I would probably still get out too because Safety's I don't trust perfect. what I see on, on the camera. But the funny part is, that's how he ran. He never got out. Well, he's the boss. Yeah. It's his money. You can do that. Nope. Let's do as he says, not as he does. Yeah, that's what he's, he's a little right. <laughs> Some people, they are good So, from inside it. the cab, he's able to do all this. Easy on the rim. My bumper. Yeah, like this guy knows. Go. Wait, wait. Hey, that's my car, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Hundred and ten dollars. Hundred and ten dollars. He said he But I was only parked there for no, five no, minutes. No, 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 that? Well, yeah, they, they, they the sleeves slide out. Extends out. Once the car comes all the way open, it'll keep hitting the control and slide the crossbar out. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I saw it move when you did that. Watch the car. That's it. The whole thing is going to come out. So that's closed. Then... Oh, that's... Oh, wow. <laughs> now, what about the end of the car? How do you move them in? Do you have to go manually or anything? No, they, he's got a, a sleeve already on it. Uh -huh. On some auto loaders, the sleeve's not on there. You have a sleeve that you can put on there for smaller tires. Yeah. Flat tires and stuff like that, yeah. We, we've learned to actually yeah, leave that off. That's as small as it goes with this receiver. What happens if you have a flat then? Yeah, do you, you don't have a sleeve. Those things decide to open up. I'm not sure how well that strap's really gonna hold it closed. That's easy. So if this is pro wheel drive though, and uh, it has a key, so it's like your free pony pretty much. Drag it. The front wheel drive car never tell it backwards. Yeah, not about no. <laughs> yeah, the general guideline is you want to drive wheels up there. Yeah. You want to drive You tow them, so now if you tow them, you want to tow them. You gotta use this, but you have to put the main gates on it. Put go jacks on it to get it out. If you can put it in neutral, take the brake on, you can probably get it out of the spot. No, uh, if you take it because it's an impound or whatever, the parts of the pond, and it's off, and then when he does a job like this, um, and then he puts what? Uh, if you can't put it in neutral, then you're going to have to put go jacks or something on the front. Or dollies. You can put dollies on it. If you're by yourself, and you need to pull the truck forward with it on the front, then you're going to use dollies. But if you have somebody to help you and you can push it out, then you can just do it with the go jacks are a lot better if you got more than one person. Yeah. yeah. A lot they, quicker and easier. They do suck when you're doing it by yourself. Yeah, well, I've seen uh, where we, they have three guys and they have all four uh, go jacks on the side pulled out of the parking lot. Yeah, out. you can do that. Oh, they, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So what they were they were originally designed for moving cars around inside like shops and stuff like that. Yeah. Or you're on a smooth service, but so you, you have to you can put them up more and spin it around, or you yeah. can slide. But you got to keep one thing in mind with GoJacks are is that if you're on a rough surface, they work like shit. Oh really? You need yeah. A smooth surface. You need a smooth surface. If you're trying to roll it out here, any one of these little rocks, those things hit, they're going to want to kick out from under the wheels. And if you try loading a car into a flatbed with those things, uh -huh. it's going to want to do the same thing. They're going to want to kick out from under the wheels the moment they hit the bed. That difference in uh, degree. So you would you have to strap them down then? Or no, you, you just you just wouldn't use them loading the car onto a flatbed. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think you can strap those to a car. Hey. No. 
Well, you probably you could. Figure out a way. You could wrap a strap around the whole thing, you know, maybe. But uh, the whole problem with it is, is like you'll, this end will hit the bed before the wheels do, and it'll want to shove it off the wheel. Yeah, I tried it one time; it didn't work too well. I learned. And once it once it goes to move, it's going to want to curl up into the fender. Oh shit! And so if you're, you know. You got a car that you really don't want to damage. You bring it all the way down. I try not to go all the way down because then you scratch concrete or driveways and stuff. You kind of just estimate it. Well, so you go down until it hits and then come up. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah, you know, it'd be the normal practice. You, you don't know. Someone's driveway over it. You want the 110 bucks? You don't want to be paying out. Well, it depends. It depends on the area. You know, sometimes I get out and set it down. And you know, if it's a real low car, I'll yeah, push the yeah. car onto it. Yeah, you do that. Just depends on your situation. You did good one for this one. Yeah, good. Well, this there's one's a lot of clearance. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people I saw, they're easy doing, but even they are not. You've seen me go. with it in the yard. Yeah, some of the auto loaders actually have a body that comes up to the edge of the wheel lift right here. Uh -huh. So some guys will just have a mark on the edge of the, of the wheel lift to, oh. to tell them when it's the right height off the ground. So they just go from inside, watch until it lines up, and then they back up. Oh, really? But the best thing is to have a camera so that you can see. Because if you're going to do it from inside, if you can't see, you don't know for sure that it's going, everything's going well. Yeah, you don't want to be shoving that through, through well. the bumper, because those will stab yeah, it. You know, because some of them, that believe not going out all the way. They, they are right. just right. Right. See, a lot of people, if you watch them, they extend out and then back underneath. Well, what happens is your bar will twist, and then you won't get to your tire. So I get close enough to where I know if I extend out my bar is not going to twist i'll go out a little bit but i've we got the i can say we got the camera on ours so you can see if it twists. i can see why it's going to twist yeah i'm blind yeah. dude you see what i'm working with well <laughs> that was the same thing with ours that's why we put the camera on because you couldn't see shit. i mean i could barely see it if i got out and well, stood I mean, on the running board i gotta if you hop in there and look out the back window you got a little bit more room there to see but yeah, still i gotta, I gotta look I don't have tunnel boxes. Yeah, this one's good. The lift is coming out by itself. The lift doesn't come out by itself. He has to hit a control for it. No, I know. No, hit a control. Oh, you mean for the slide out? Yeah. But the other well, one is the slide out. It's that fixed. Much there. It's fixed. It doesn't slide out. Our crossbars on ours are fixed. It just opens the claws. That's it. Well, you saw this one extend. Yeah, it extends out. A million times I came out and see and go back and go see. <laughs> and the cable is not long enough to, to bring it here and do it. You have to, it is, but it's, the rest of it's under the seat. You have to actually get it out from under the seat. But you don't need that. If you got to get out the truck, we have controls outside the truck. That's the thing. If you got to get outside our truck, we've got controls on the back end you can use. So you don't need the remote. The truck I use it. Doesn't have any control in the back. Yeah. Short things in the well, you get out, you stand outside the door, and you gotta just look over and look. Yeah. yeah. Come back over there and you just come out this way. More, more sideways you can go. Just back up to it and That's because the guys that know, that do it all the time, know where it's at. They're used to it. But the guys that don't, it, it's different. Easier than, you know, whatever you think. Just back up to it. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. Put one of these on the inside. Oh, I got one of those in my truck. The little metal bar it comes off. The ones they the were ratchet. selling were plastic. Yeah, the one I got is metal, but uh, it's plastic and it just has like a hook like this that goes onto the end of your uh, ratchet handle and it extends it about this long. Yeah. But there's no, you don't need to get it that tight. You don't need that. I got the wireless drag lights on this. One. Yeah, I saw your uh, transmitter right there. Yeah, it's up on the. Yeah, you got. Are you, put them on. Yeah, wireless drag lights. Yeah. You put those things on already. Nobody even noticed. Got a, you gotta rock them. We have to buy them.
Don, now, do you have the thing inside that tells you when you drive away? Got it? You, yeah, you gotta be school. careful. You gotta remember. <laughs> I've had this thing for six years. I've left, the, uh, the I've, I've le I left one of mine on a car one time. Oh, okay, the customer cool. called me. He was on his way out the car. And he's like, hey, I got your thing. I'm like, oh, shit. Can you come back and bring it? <laughs> Dude, I left this thing in Laguna Niguel. Oh, shit. I had to go back to Laguna Niguel to get it. How far away is that? Uh, is this about two hours from where I'm at? So, I lost one off the top of a Volkswagen <laughs> Beetle on the 91 Freeway. I know I wasn't finding that thing again. Yeah, his is a bar. You can actually get regular tow lights that are wireless also. Yeah, I've got the shorter version of that, but it's just the batteries stopped working after six months. That was my only problem with them. I, I don't know how much better. You can slide them out, and then it's a sealed lead acid battery, so you got to go get another one and slide it in. I don't know how much more it is, but you can get the device that lets you know when you get a certain About 100 bucks. Wow. You know, they have if he drove two, two, two hours to go back, it probably was worth it to, to buy that. Yeah. Now, uh, they have well, the important part is make it. They are rechargeable. Like, you know, you so much. Yeah. The batteries the battery, just can only be recharged so many times. Uh, yeah. Uh, you carry one that you turn off, and then when that one dies, you switch them out. Well, those usually have to take them apart to take the battery out. Really? But, uh, yeah. No, that's why the first thing I've always made a point to do when I was using that system was get out and grab the light first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> grab the light before I undid everything else. You don't want to lose it. It's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah, 300 bucks if you lose one. and yeah, It's not fun. Yeah. That's what we were talking I told my boss I'd rather go spend the gas money and get money when I left about an hour and a half away. So like, I'll spend the gas. That one's about 400 bucks. It's the wider model. They've got a couple different versions of them. I got one that's, uh, it's 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I got is with the side lights on it, so that costs like 30 bucks more than the base model. All right. Time. Uh, anything else to, before, before we're, we'll do the uh, rollovers after we have lunch? Anything else on a sling or wheel lift or auto loader? No? All right, then uh, go ahead and take a, a break. Lunch should be here hopefully in the next 20, 30 minutes. Pizza. Pizza. Kind of.